Hi everyone, today I'm going to be unboxing Sainsbury's Grocery Shop. So I found this set on eBay. I'd never actually seen it before in real life. It's from 2009. We didn't shop at Sainsbury's and it was only sold in Sainsbury's so that's why I'd never seen it. I remember when I was at primary school one of my friends told me that the only Sylvanian thing she had was Sainsbury's and I was thinking but I've never seen a Sainsbury's. It must just be something else similar that she thought was, but it wasn't. But then it turns out there actually was a Sainsbury's that I didn't know about. And yeah, I just had to have it because I thought it's something quite special as it was only sold in Sainsbury's, probably quite rare now. And I thought it's like a really cute, nice little shop. And I did think for like having like a high street set up or photos, of like a street it'd be good to have shops where everything is just open at the front rather than a shop front and then an inside if it was just like like Madeline's boutique is just open at the front it would look really nice in photos so yeah I just thought I really want it it was 55 pounds which I thought isn't too bad and especially for something from that long ago and it's still like brand new so yeah, I was really happy to find this because I didn't, when I first saw it I thought, no, I won't get it. But then the next day or a couple of days later I kept looking at it. I looked at it about three times, didn't get it and I thought, I'm going to get it because I know I keep thinking about it and I'll regret it if I don't. So here we have Sainsbury's Grocery Shop and I just love the flare packaging. It is just gorgeous. The flowers at the bottom and the blue sky. So we've got photos of this set on the side. And then it says a bit about the set on the back. The Sainsbury shop has a lovely selection of fruit, vegetables and other grocery goods to choose from. John is very helpful and loves serving customers and having a chat with them. And we have more photos on this side. And the contents on the bottom. So now let's open it. I'm so happy to have this. I think I'm, it's really good that I've been looking on eBay for things because I've been able to find some things that I wouldn't have been able to get otherwise. So I've actually been quite lucky with eBay. I've got another video coming up soon showing some special figures that I've got from eBay. So keep your eye out for that video. And I love how this box opens, how it's all just open at the front. It's really nice. So here it is. There's this bit. Oh, I say does it lift out? We've got this bit behind, which has some boxes and the collector's club information. So we've got some boxes to make here. Some stickers and a catalogue and the collector's club information oh and then here it is the Sainsbury's but so that's the back of the packaging which is really nice in the bottom of the box there's also again the same leaflet again, the stickers and some boxes are gone but there's another box of soap, coffee that's extra and a different catalogue cool well that's extra then and then here is Sainsbury's so now let's get all the little pieces out. Oh, that's just tied at the bottom. So in here we have a basket. And another basket. 
and a little table all here and then in here we have all of the fruits and vegetables that he sells and here is John Sainsbury and then in the shop we have this little bit here to put the vegetables in and the shelf above and I think there's stickers to go on here so I won't fill it up yet I'll see what stickers there are to go on first so let's get all the little pieces out The reason why I didn't get it the first time, first couple of times I saw it and kept thinking about it was because I thought I've got a lot of these vegetables already and fruit, but then I thought, well I haven't got this shop front though, so <laughs> I really wanted it. I thought it was really cute, the little orange Shainsbury's. Scales as well for weighing everything. And then here is John with an orange apron. apron. Looks like he works in B&Q. <laughs> I suppose Sainsbury's wear orange as well. Just the first thing it makes me think of is B&Q. And then two lemons. So I'll just check that that is all of the fruit and veg and that I didn't lose any when I was getting it all out. Yep, it's all there. So I'm now going to stick on the stickers. So we've got this one that says J Sainsbury Produce, Tomato, Banana, Lettuce, Apple, Carrot, Coffee, Tea, Soap That goes on the wall here Wow, surprisingly very straight I'm not normally that good at sticking stickers <laughs> And then we've got another one for the back which says, J Sainsbury, purveyor of high-class provisions. Wow. Sounds very good. That one goes on the back here. There we go. Not too bad. Probably not as good as the other one. But I don't think the stickers are always the same size. They're like a little bit smaller so if you line up one end then it'll still be wonky the other end or not quite reach but yeah that looks really cute so now let's set it up so next i'll make up all of these little boxes and the other extra two as well such a cute little shop i'm really happy with it and i'll see you in the next video bye